What is going on, painting company owners? Brandon from Painter Marketing Pros here. Happy Friday. Hope you had a solid first week of 2022. So I had two interesting conversations today with two of our painting partners, our painting company clients. It's almost like deja vu having the, the same conversation um, back to back. They're, they're two of our smaller clients and we're building out uh, their long-term digital presence. We're, we're getting them positioned to the point where we won't be having conversations like this anymore. Um, you know, six, nine, 12 months from now that this conversation will be put to bed, but uh, they're newer, newer partners. And the question was essentially, sh what do you do with a limited marketing budget? So to drive leads today, now, they both uh, are currently using Angie, you know, Home Advisor. Um, and the question was whether or not they should continue to use Home Advisor. So it's a good question. I'm gonna I'm gonna just go out there and say I I don't like Home Advisor. You know Angie Angie's a thumbtack craft jacket. It's Home Advisor and An Angie's list are now both Angie, but I don't like them. I think their their leads are bad. Uh, they're they are bad. They are bad. Not not 100 percent, but generally they're bad. They're tire kickers. They're, they're low, you know we'll call them cost conscious uh, customers. And then they're sold to a bunch of companies at the same time. So you kind of got a battle royale situation right off the bat. So I don't love it. That being said, if you have a, a very limited marketing budget, and I'm talking in the range of 500 to 1,000 a month all in for paid ads, and you know that you're making the numbers work right now using something like that, then it may be worth sticking with it for the time being. The reason I say that is when you... When you transition, especially if you're running this stuff yourself, when you transition into Facebook ads or you transition into Google PPC, you have to be able to A-B test different things. That means you have to be able to uh, test different headlines, test different audiences if you're running it in uh, Facebook. You have to be able to test different creatives, so the picture or the video or, or whatever is kind of the primary um, thing on your ad. You ultimately have to have a little bit of a budget to test those things. Whereas if you already know, and again, it's really important to know your numbers and not be focused on revenue, but focus on profit, gross profit. If you already know for every dollar you put into Home Advisor, you get $4 out and that's acceptable to you based on your cost of doing the business, of, of producing the work, then you know, it might be, might be worth exploring. Essentially, my point is when, when you are doing paid ads, if you don't already have a tried and true process, if you don't know what works, it takes some testing to nail it. And if you don't have the money, the, the budget to be able to test, then just stick with what's tried and true so long as you've run the math, you've done the numbers, you've been doing it for a while, and you know that it works. I just hope that helps, just thought I'd talk about it because for whatever reason, it came up twice today. Um, again, I don't, like, I don't like those sites. Our whole process is built around fixing everything I think is wrong with that model, but food for thought.